It is hard to believe that it has been almost a full year since March 15th, 2020, when during the season of Lent, we were sent home on full lockdown in response to the novel coronavirus. We knew so little about what was ahead at that time. We hoped that we would be back in worship by Easter, by Pentecost, by August. And yet many of us are still scattered in the four corners of our county and across the country, safely worshiping at home. We are unsure how long the vaccine rollout will take and know that for many, our long time away from one another is not over yet. As we enter the season of Lent, our staff wanted to find a way that we could grow together as a congregation, even while some of us are still physically separated. We looked over all of the weeks and special times of worship spread across Lent and put together these Lent at home bags. We hope that in this bag, you find a connection to our church body and to a story larger than yourself during this holy season. As we looked at the story of Lent, we saw a story arc that repeated itself across scripture many times. The whole Christian story contains joy and sorrow, connection and isolation, and the promise of new life from the ashes of death and mortality that pervade our time on earth. As we thought and prayed on this, we came together with one common theme, hope. That's why we're calling our Lent study this year, Hope, Ashes to Life. Let's take a look at the items in your kit and when you can expect to use them. There is first a cross tattoo for Ash Wednesday and a reminder that dust we are and to dust we shall return. There's a Lenten devotional from the United Methodist Church journeying us towards Easter as a unified, if far apart body. A palm cross to hold on Palm Sunday or put it as a part of your at home altar, remembering the branches laid at Jesus' feet. There's a votive candle to light during Good Friday services in honor of Jesus' brutal death. There is a packet of sunflower seeds to plant on Easter Sunday as a reminder of new life breaking forth all around us. And there's a bookmark for your devotional time highlighting the journey that we will take together in worship through our sermon series. And you can see our scriptures for this time together there. We hope that you will join us in person or online to worship together as the body of Christ. While our world may feel uncertain, the love of Christ and the power of Christ's death and resurrection are unshakable. In this, we rest our hope.